hello from slide node and hello from weeps what's up folks in this vid i'm going to talk about explicit intents in android now if you're a beginner in android you probably heard this word intent and you were confused about what it means because it means many different things in different situations so let me go ahead in this vid and show you some brief overview of what intents are how they work and what you can do with them so here we have four types of basic building blocks in android as you guys remember there's activities something with which the user interacts something the user sees on the screen that's an activity right and then there's services something that runs in the background and when i say background this is where people make mistakes it runs on the main thread it is used for doing long running tasks like downloading a file connecting to a mail service connecting to a server uploading files to a dropbox stuff like that right those things happen inside services now the user doesn't see them but actually they are started by your activities and they run independently from your activity that is even if your activity is off your services may still run in the background and then you have broadcast receivers broadcast receivers are people who sleep all the time but when suddenly something happens they wake up and they do something for example when your battery goes low you can have a broadcast receiver inside your app that wakes up and shuts down all the downloading and uploading in your app right so those are what that is what broadcast receivers do and then you have this guy called an intent now intent is very s complex term but it's a very simple meaning if you see guys if you guys see it's nothing but a uh, messenger that responds to messages right so let me go ahead and talk about intents what an intent does the first thing you have this uh, activity over here uh, is, which is nothing but an email activity you have a draft stuff over here if i click on one of the drafts it opens a new activity actually this may be a fragment but i'm assuming that it is an activity for now so your intents are used to start new activities from wherever you are right it's like going to a different page in html and that's what your intent actually does so next you have is your services if you say it, uh, download service you click on start download your download service begins and something runs in the background if you're downloading a big file uploading files or dropbox sky drive google drive complex stuff long running stuff like that playing a music in the background all those things are done in services intents are used to start services all right next you have your android system and you have this thing called a broadcast receiver broadcast receiver is nothing like but like an alarm so you so you tell your system that you want to respond for specific events and you get a notification when those events occur that's what your broadcast receiver is for example if your battery is low then you get a notification inside your app that the battery is low if you have registered for that notification and this is done through intents now remember again i'm going to talk about each of these components that is your services broadcast receivers in detail as we move on but for now all you need to know is that you can have many different events like if your device is connected with a usb to a computer if your bluetooth is available if network is not available if you're in airplane mode there are many other things there are hundreds of them guys trust me the broadcast receiver stuff is massive there are many intents you can register for and you can use them in your app to do different things all right and then here i talk about what is the fourth use of an intent so here if you see there is your launcher screen and there is this thing called main activity now if i show you the structure of my project actually there are three activities activity b c and main now my question to you guys is why only main activity is seen over here why not activity b why not activity c the reason is if you see the code in the manifest file that is your android manifest.xml inside your main activity there is something called an intent filter which has something called action something called category and if you see the other that is your activity b and activity c they don't have anything like that so when you write an intent filter with an action of action dot main and a category of category dot launcher you are telling the system that this activity that is your main activity is the entry point inside your application and it should appear on the launcher screen now if you copy paste these two lines that is your intent filter line for this activity b and activity c they will also appear on the screen in the launcher all right you can go ahead and try it out so that is one of the other uses of an intent you tell the system that which activity should appear in the list of uh, active apps installed on your system right so then so now let's take a practical use case and understand how explicit intents work now there are two types of intents one being explicit the other being implicit now I'm, i will talk about them in detail as we move through but for now all you need to know is your intent acts like a personal assistant so if you call the guy and say that hey i have a black pen i need to give it to somebody uh, say mr x and if you tell your intent that hey go and give this black pen to mr x your intent is going to go to that guy mr x and he's going to give the pen right same way you can also take a pen from mr x and get it 
to you with with you that is another thing which you can do that these are explicit intents when you know the name of the guy you're calling or when you know the name of the activity you're calling that becomes explicit intents now implicit intents are when you don't know who to call but you know that you need to send an sms or you know that you need to send an email you need to call someone and when you know the functionality but you don't know the name of the person who's going to do that function for you that becomes implicit intents now i'll talk about implicit intents in detail but for now in this bit i'm going to talk about explicit intents only so here if i am an activity a and then there's my activity b now they are both inside the same app all right and here my intent goes from activity a to b calls the guy and gets my stuff running right so let me go ahead and show you how this code looks like in android so first i make an object of your intent by saying intent i is new intent there are two things it needs one is the context where i'm running and two is the class now if you guys are beginners in android you're probably wondering what this context means context is like your hotel room service you tell the guy that hey give me this give me that get me access to this get me access to that bring me coffee bring me food and the context is going to do that that's what your context basically is it's an environment to your application or your android operating system by which you can access all the resources i'm going to talk about context in detail too but for now this is all you need to know then if i say start activity and i pass i inside so i'm going to call that activity b right so let me actually show you the other way of doing that i can also say intent i is new intent with an empty bracket all right and then i can set the package name and the class name of that activity that i want to call i can say that by saying i dot set class name string package name string class name so here i will explicitly specify who i want to call all right and next i'll say start activity for i it's going to work the same way so i hope you guys understood the concept of intents in the next vid i'm going to jump into eclipse and show you how this works right as a hands on application all right if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know what you think about this i'll catch you guys later have a nice day thanks for watching